Welcome to week six of Let Karma Cook. Week five was pretty good. We had a winning week. We didn't sweep the board, but those were my Circa picks, and I went four and one in Circa because the Jags that were a push on Let Karma Cook were only two and a half in the Circa contest. So we'll take the push here. I'll take the win with Circa, and let's move on to this week in a five and O oh week. All right, guys, uh, while you're here, hit that subscribe button. Join the ever-growing community here at Wager Talk. Over 176,000 subscribers and growing each and every day. Drop a like. Drop a comment in the comment section below. Let me know what you think I'm going to go this week. We always love your comments, and we'll respond. We're going to talk some stats in this segment of Let Carm Cook, and we're going to start with the Tampa game. Uh, Tampa travels to New Orleans uh, for this one, and they've been there all week. The Bucks are 6-1 and one against the spread uh, in the second of back-to-back -back divisional games, and they're 7-1 and one against the spread in their last eight against the Saints. So we're taking the Bucks. We're laying the three and a half here with Tampa Bay. All right, let's switch to the AFC. Tennessee and the Colts. Tennessee is minus two and a half. Yes, the Colts are getting healthier, but we have the Titans coming off a bye week, and what an impressive record Tennessee has off of bye weeks. They are 7-0 against the spread off a bye. The Colts did continue to give up yards, and this is an if, and a big if. If Will Levis can have a mistake-free game, we're going to get the cover here. Let's take the Titans to get us the dub uh, in this one. Giants. Uh, getting three and a half in this one against Cincinnati. Let's give Giants head coach Brian DeBull some credit here, guys. He seems to find weaknesses in other teams' defenses and puts together a game plan where Danny Dimes can uh, exploit them. He did that perfectly in Seattle with that five-yard slant that Seattle didn't stop all day. And the Giants went on to win that one. There's plenty of game film for them to look at at Cincinnati. They allowed 41 points and 530 yards to the Baltimore Ravens last weekend. He'll find something. He's also 21-12-1 against the spread as a dog. Bengals are 1-4 ATS and 0-5 straight up. Their last five games against NFC East opponents. Give me the Giants plus a three and a half in this one. All right, Cowboys and Lions, probably the marquee game here. We're taking the field goal here with the Cowboys at home. They're coming off a last minute win in Pittsburgh and returning home. They are 10 and one against the spread when coming off a straight up win as an underdog. But more importantly, this is a team that's 0 2 this year at home after going 16 and 0 during the regular season the last two years at home. And they get a Lions team that very well could be in a sandwich spot. They they are in Minnesota next Sunday playing the Vikings. They might be looking ahead. We're going to take the field goal here with the Cowboys. And we'll finish it off. AFC East top spot up for grabs here. All the talk in New York is about Robert Salah getting canned, the new vibe in New York. But like I said, this is a big one. Baltimore and Houston. Knocked off the Bills uh, at home in back-to-back -back games. This is the third road game for the Bills. They're going to put together a game plan here. They're going to eke out a win, put up just enough points against a Jets team that just aren't scoring. The Jets are averaging 18.6 points per game. That's not enough unless your defense is superb, and the Bills will find a way to score against this Jets team. Jets are 2-6. and six against the spread, and straight up uh, when they're a single-digit dog, which they are here. Give me the Bills, minus 2.5, to get the dub at MetLife Stadium. All right, guys, there you go. Those are the picks. Tampa Bay, minus 3.5. Tennessee, minus 2.5. The Giants getting plus 3.5. The Cowboys getting a field goal, plus 3. And the Bills laying 2.5. That's your five plays. Hit that subscribe button. Hit the like button. Drop a comment in the comment section below. And if you're looking for my premium picks, head over to wagertalk.com, wt.buzz backslash CB. I've got a big card this weekend, including a 5% play. We're off a winning week five, and we're going to do it again in week six.